Hey guys, it's Jackpot G Lars. It's uh, day three out with uh, Joe, Long Island's hardcore detectorist. Um, he's running a little late, so he said I could go ahead and start. So I'm uh, about where I left off last time, and I was getting a pretty deep 60s signal. It's my first button of the day, like three minutes in. It's got the shank and everything. A little flap, well, it's not really a flap button. It's got like a indent. And it's got a design in the middle. It's got like a symbol. If I can show you guys. That's pretty cool. Nice button. That's a great way to start off the hunt. I think it's going to be a great day. Let's see if we can find some more. Whew. Yes. Hey guys, I was getting a uh, 75 to 77 signal. That's Joe. I just showed him what I found. He thought it was awesome. Because it is. Let me show you. Where is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. It's uh, it's another flat button with the shank. Whew. Start the button count. We got uh, two shanks, one's broken. Hopefully, we can start piling that uh, button count up. Nice. Joe just jumped ahead of me. This might be a good little area. See if we can get some more. Just got my third complete old button of the day. This one's a little bent, but still. Must have got hit by the plow a couple times. But it's got the shank back there. It's sweet, a small flat button. You know, it's kind of wavy. Cool, and Joe's uh, somewhere over there past that thicket. Hopefully he'll get onto something. Pretty cool. See if we can find some more. Hey guys, Joe just got himself a really nice find. He made two finds while we were separated. He got that broken flat button. And it's got a writing. But we can't make it out yet. And look at this button. It's got writing all around it. You could tell it's, he's easily going to be able to make it out later. And look at that design. It's like three different symbols. I don't know if that's like a heart, a sun, some stars all around it. Dang, but that's a that's got to be the button of the day. Go it's far, gonna be, still early. It's gonna be hard to top that though. That's sick. Dang. <laughs> nice job, Joe. Thanks, man. Let's keep keep going. killing it. Hey guys, that's Joe's walking away. He just uh, live digged this uh, signal I got. It was an 88 to 90 signal. I was hoping for something crazy old, but it's uh it's pretty old. And it's funny we were just talking about how. We haven't found any like modernish, well, like newer silver coins. And I was getting this 90 signal, it ended up being a 1952 silver Washington quarter D mint mark. That's awesome. He was thinking maybe a large cent, that's what I was thinking then. It was just a silver quarter, but I'll take it some silver. Nice. Let's see if we can find some more. Joe's right over there. See him moving around. Just got a buckle just before, and I just got uh, another button. It's a different one this time, and it's got the shank. I found a couple of these at uh, uh, another location in some earlier videos, but this is my first type button uh, like this at a at a here. It's like a gumdrop sort of button. I don't know if it has design or not. I'll have to clean it up at home, but that's cool. We are loading up on those buttons. Let's find some more. Awesome. Joe's heading back to his previous area because I just had to show him this really interesting find. We think it's a hammered lead token. It's got writing. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to have to try to find out what it says and look it up at home. And this side has got like a, another stamp, but it looks like a hammered lead token, but it's got some sort of meaning. It's definitely very old. That's awesome. Joe wasn't sure what it is, but he he's never found anything like this before. He thinks it's all it's, he thinks it's pretty amazing. I think it's pretty amazing too. Awesome. Let's see if we can find some more. Hey guys, Joe just walked down the path. I just videotaped him walking back, and this is the first signal he got back. Like a minute later. Turn my head. It. That is music. See the numbers. I don't think it's going to show him. 82, 82, 83, 80. Oh mm -hmm. man, that's, that's got to be a coin. 
All it's right, gotta be a coin. Seeing about four inches down. What do your reals ring up? What's that? What did the reals ring up that you get here? 79, I think. I think it was. Maybe it's a thicker real. I like that sound. Oh, we've got rock in the ground. Oh, rock in here, too. I'm gonna go extra wide here. Just to to be safe, yeah. Ooh. Ow. It's so hard to make a nice plug with this, you know, the soil. That looks pretty good to me. <laughs> That's that rock, you hear it? Oh, that was real. <laughs> no, don't say that. Oh. And it's like these stickers, so I don't want to like. Oh, I gotta get closer. You know what? This sound, I'm gonna kneel. <laughs> I don't mind kneeling. Pinpointer time. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, it doesn't look silver. Large scent, large but... scent. Ah, oh, it's a lodgy. It's a large scent. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. <gasps> that's what you thought it was going to be. I think it's, I don't is know, that, something tells me it's British. Is that a, that's a copper. That's older. <laughs> Dude, he got it. Let me see if the other side's a little bit better. Dude. It's so wet, the soil. It's like caking it on, but that one area, like it's, it looks like it's gonna. Oh yeah, that's. That's gotta be, that's old than a large scent, you're right. Let me give it a wipe. 1700. Has to be 1700. Way to go, Joe. Thanks, man. Hopefully get some detail off it. He knows the spots. <laughs> Might have to. I think the dates. Ooh, let me. The dates yeah, gonna be like right there. But it's Damn. really barely crest. We'll see if we can get something off it. All right, guys. I'll tell you guys if uh, he finds a date, dude. Way to go, man. Thanks, man. Killing him. You guys in this thorn thicket? Just got another little button. Tiny little button. Don't know if it has a design yet, but it does have the shank. It's good news. Damn, starting to lose count of buttons. Whew. I think we're in a good area. Let's see if we can find some more. Hey guys. I just uh, called for Joe to come over. Because he's running through the woods. Because uh, I was getting a coin signal. And now it's my turn for a copper. Only like 20 minutes after his. I'm not sure what type. I don't think it's a large scent though. I'm not sure. Oh man. He's running over right now. He'll be able to take a look. He might be able to uh, notice what it is. But man. Yes. Oh. I cannot wait to toothpick this. Another copper. Joe's got to get over here quick. He's got to check this out. This is amazing. Oh. I'm hoping it's 1700s. I think it is. Worst, come, wor worst case scenario, it's a large set in the 1800s. And that is not bad at all. Oh. Yes. Thank God. I knew that. I had a feeling this, this weird thicket of thorns would be a good area. And man, was it. Oh, thank God. All right, sweet. I'm, gonna, I'm about to show Joe. I don't know where he is. Somewhere over there, coming. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next hole. Hey, guys. You are not going to believe this. I was, this is like 10 minutes after the first copper. I was getting a 77 to 80 signal. It was hard to get to under those roots, but it's another copper. This one's more thin. It might be an older type. Like 1700 style. Oh man. This is a. I knew this little area was going to be good. It's just thorns everywhere. Trees were thin. Oh, I cannot believe this. Two coppers. Three coppers total in like 40 minutes. That's crazy. We are on the spot. Maybe we could get some reals. Oh man. 
Whew. And Joe's right over there. I just told him. He is hyped. He's still right by where he got his uh, copper. Man. I'll get, I'll get back with you guys at the next hole. Hey, guys. I just had uh, Joe over here to do a live dig. I was hoping for our fourth copper of the day. But it's just a wheat penny. You know, I'm always finding those wheat pennies. I'm not sure of the date, though. We've never been so disappointed over a wheat penny. But it's a wheat penny. <laughs> see if we can find some more. There's got to be more coppers laying around. There goes Joe. Just got a lead seal. Really wide one. We think it's a lead seal. Not sure. It's got like a little tail and it says AN. So pretty sure it's a lead bale seal. Got a few out of these woods. This one's the biggest. Cool. Let's see if we can find some more. Hey guys. That's, uh, I just got the broken flat button right there. And check this out. Guys, that's, uh, too good to be true. So I'm gonna dig it real quick and see what it is. Ooh. Hey guys, you're not gonna believe it. I thought maybe it would be a large scent again, or uh, some sort of copper. We're hoping for a real, but it's actually a, a old broken silver ring. Look at that. Real focus. I know it's silver, and it's a giant silver, silver, uh, like, the nugget part is huge. It's like an eagle. Unfortunately, it's broken. I thought maybe I hit it with a shovel and broke it, but there's no other pieces in there. So I guess maybe it got hit by the plow. Sometime in the 1800s. And it uh, chopped it a little bit. But dang. That is a nice find. Second silver of the woods today. I'm going to have to tell Joe. I have no idea where he is. Somewhere over there. But that is awesome. Ringage in the woods. Nice. Let's see if we can find some more. So I got the silver ring right there. And I was getting a 75 signal here, and I'm pretty sure I just found my button of the day. I'll try to get it to focus. It's got a really cool design on it. I'm not sure. I just know that oh, it's got the shank, and I know there's probably going to be writing on the back of there. Man, that's a good find. Oh, tonight is going to be a nice night. Toothpicking, eating. Eating's always better when you find some crazy cool stuff. I'll tell you. Nice. Good little area. And I think uh, I just texted Joe. He's on his way. He's going to check out some of this stuff. This is a great day. Let's see if we can find some more. Hey, guys. Uh, that's uh, that's still the spot where I was getting all that good stuff just a second ago. And I just got, where is it? Oh, just got another little button. Focus. There we go. Another old little button. Cool. Let's find some more. Me and Joe just met up. He showed me some of his uh, his old finds, old dandy button. Yeah. A little bit bent. Yeah. It's pretty nice, man. Thank you. Got this. Thing Look at all the. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's got something shiny on it. It's got like a tag or something. Oh. There's a little pin. But it's got something. I feel like it might be more modern. Could be. I don't know. I think he's got that pocket knife. I don't know what that is. Could be a bale seal. I don't see a, like a little shank still or anything. And I think it's just one of those little buttons. Hmm. Oh, is there a tick on my neck? Yes, sir. There is. Yep, that's. I just took one off my neck about 30 minutes ago. Let's and get out of here. And there's another <laughs> one. Damn. <Yeah. laughs> All right, wrap up. J dang, that's like my. Hey guys, this is the wrap. We had the bail. I got uh, six ticks today in total. <laughs> you know what's funny? He says he's never gotten one here. Not even slick one off me. I have. Um, total now? Total, what, 10 total? Two, two, and now six.
that we know of. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. And um, these are uh, Joe's finds today. A lot of buttons, a lot of shotgun shells, a lot of relics. And that is not a silver dime, it's a regular dime, unfortunately. Um, I got skunks. What's this giant piece of brass? A little yeah. piece of bits of brass. Scrap, yeah. This is something notable. It's, uh, it's an old buckle. Doesn't have the middle piece though. It's a nice old umbrella thing. The older type. Got a pocket knife. An old pocket knife. I was gonna spray some WD-40 on it to see if I can get it working again. <laughs> next time I go in the woods. Oh yeah, <laughs> might work. He got a giant door hinge. I think you got one last time. We went yeah, too. Like the same size. And uh, a rosette, possibly. It's real crusty. There's like a weird wheel thing. Pulley or something. Or yeah. pulley. That was, that's a uh, shotgun shell collection. Um, this might be, we don't know what this is. Maybe it's a uh, copper with a hole punched in it. If we're just, sure. if we're hoping. Yeah, hoping. <laughs> you got it. This is weird. It's like two lead things stuck together. That is weird. This thing, I'm not sure, we don't, we don't know what this is. Like a, I don't even know. I don't know how to describe that. These are uh, his buttonhole. This is probably the the second best button in the dad's gonna say best, but the old dandy, big old flat button. This is the best button today. Mm -hmm. Look at that, man. And guys, if you guys want to see all these all these finds cleaned up, go watch Joe's video, Long Island's Hardcore Detectorist. It's gonna be epic. He got all these buttons too. This one might have writing on it. I'm not sure. Man. Three broken flat buttons. And then, oh yeah, of course, you can't forget uh, for the first copper of the day, his copper. You see, he's gonna look to the left there. Yeah, he thinks it's seventeen mid 1700s, which it probably is. The date would be right down here, but it's hard to see right now. He's gonna go home and work on it. But, uh,. Watch this video and you will find out the date, if you can find it. Yeah. Which you might be able to. That's crazy. Put some shoe shine on it. Nice job, Joe. Thanks, man. Put us, yeah, Put us on the spot. Put us on the spot. Yep. <laughs> I had some pretty good finds today. Killed it. We got a old broken wrench. If you can see that, it's a weird, different like wrench thingy. Got uh, this is all my lead, my lead haul, old piece of brass. These are my broken flat buttons. Three memorial pennies, one wheat penny. I'll tell you guys the date when I get home. Uh, random piece of brass. I'm not sure what that is. This is really interesting. I didn't know what it was when I first found it, but I knew it was something cool, so I showed Joe after to take a look at it. It's actually an old part of an old shoe buckle he was explaining to me. Look at that. It's decorative. So that would go uh, right on the shoe, and there'd be another piece to it. That's a cool relic. I could find a pat myself on the back. <laughs> I got uh all clear. <laughs> I got a uh, button galore out here. I got um it's a cool button. A little bit bent. My little gumdrop button. Another little button, a little it's domed a little bit. This is decorative. Can't wait to show you guys when I get home. Man, honestly, I got I did get a lot of, a lot more buttons than I thought. This is my favorite button of the day. Can't wait to show you guys the design when I get home. It's gonna be something epic. It's got. I think this is second or third best button of the day total. I got uh, this old weird lead thingy. That is hammered. Cool. Yeah, this is really That's cool. Really I cool. got to try to figure out what it says because that is a cool <laughs> hammered piece of lead. I got a silver quarter. For silver today, I got a 1952 silver quarter. Do you see mint markers? Uh, it's it's a 1952 D from D. Denver, and then uh, I got a broken silver ring. That was awesome, real old. Look at that eagle. The ring king. <laughs> I have been lately. Yeah. And then my coppers. I think this one. Let's see. This one is going to be a uh, 1700s. 
colonial copper of some sort. And this one is, I believe, 18, well, could be in the 1700s, a large scent. It's thicker, so we're pretty sure it's a large scent. And, yeah, uh, they're all toasted, a lot of them. Show you guys uh, all these finds totally cleaned up when I get home. And uh, watch Joe, Long Island, hard, Long Island Hardcore Detectors. Watch his video, and you'll see all that stuff. And uh, see you guys on when I get home all cleaned up. These are my finds from day three uh, with Long Island's Hardcore Detectorist, or Joe. He took me out to his amazing location, 1700s, 1800s farm. Now it's woods with uh, a lot of ticks, <laughs> as you guys can see. But uh, it's worth it, and uh, I wouldn't think twice about going in there again, to be honest. But uh, I got to thank Joe. It was a great day, great hunt. And uh, if you guys want to see his finds, go watch his video. Yeah. Just posted a little bit earlier. It's a great video. And uh, I guess we'll start with the uh, broken uh, flat buttons. Got four of them. This one at least is like half the shank. Old flat buttons. I did get one wheat penny, 1952. Just kind of hoping for a copper. But I'll take a weedy. They got a lead seal, pretty sure. This is pretty cool. I didn't know what it was, but I knew to save it and uh, ask Joe about it. It's old, part to an old shoe buckle. That's pretty cool. Decorative. I know. I got uh, this old wrench piece. I wish it wasn't broken, but that's pretty cool. And uh, this is really interesting. I'm not really sure what it says. It's just got like... Earn impulse equal. <laughs> I'm not really sure if you guys might be able to make that out. 973 or 073. It's got to be a token of some sort. That's really cool. I got a whole bunch of buttons. This is a nice old flat button. And then this one's kind of bent. It's like wavy. Probably got hit by the plow a couple times, pushed around. I got uh, this little, I think it's a gumdrop button. Pretty cool. All different types of buttons today. Here's another little uh, little button. It's got a weird little like, I know this is the flat button. Little flat button. This one's the weird one. It has the, uh, it's got like a little domage to it. It's pretty cool. Then these are the two two buttons with writing. My two favorite buttons of the day. It says orange color. Then the other side's got the little spin wheel and decorative design. I think that's beautiful. My second favorite button. Then this button's really awesome and I was so happy toothpicking this one. Such a cool surprise. Extra quality. And then this side. It says the L-I-R-R, -R, Long Island Railroad. So I think that's a really old conductor's uh, button for the Long Island Railroad way back in the day when the trains were first being uh, used. That's a really cool button. One of my favorite buttons I've ever found. L-I-R-R, -R. Look, how, look how pretty that is. Amazing. And then uh, I got some silver, 1952 Washington Quarter. Same year as the wheat penny, maybe somebody was uh, running around in there. And uh, 1952, dropped there. 1952, Denver, Washington quarter, and the 1952 wheat penny. And then I got a, uh, this is really cool, an old, old silver ring. Unfortunately, it got smashed by the plow. Probably got dragged around for a while, and the other piece of the ring fell off somewhere else in the field. You can see the plow went smashed through and even hit this part. But that's a giant ring. Whew. I was surprised. It was too good to be true, but it was true. Amazing ring. Can't believe I found a ring there. And then, unfortunately, with my coppers, there's another blank one. 
You could see maybe that was part of the sailboat. I'm not sure. That part of the wood's really hard on the uh, coppers. Joe's copper was blank as well. And this I thought would be a large scent. And it looks like it, right? But actually in the head it says E Lines. And it says 424 Broadway, New York. And it's actually a magnetic pills for rats and insects token. That's what it says on this side. It's got like the same eagle that's the back on like seeded coins. I think that's really cool. They made these from 1851 to 1859. And I wonder if people use these as like large cents anyway. Like as a one cent coin. I don't know. That's really cool. I can't find too much online about it. But that's an awesome find. And I really can't wait for uh, round four in those woods. And uh <laughs> I have like dreams about it, honestly. It's a great place. Amazing location. And uh can't wait to go back out there with Joe. And uh check out his video guys. A great great detector is really dedicated. And I uh, hope you guys liked the video. And I'll see you next hunt. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.